Hey there, this is Jared from Profoto, and this video is meant to be just a brief overview of the proofing plugin. Uh, primarily, I'm making this for the beta testing period. Um, we're lacking in documentation right now on a lot of things. That'll be coming in the days and weeks to come. So until then, um, in place of some of the missing tutorials and stuff, we'll have a couple short videos. But uh, the, during the beta, beta period, uh, things will be changing pretty quickly. So if things look a little different or have evolved um, in the admin or how the plugin functions, uh, that's because we're, we're iterating pretty rapidly right now during the beta period. Um, so anyway, the proofing plugin is, is just that. It's a plugin. When you first get it and install it, you'll go to your um, plugins page and activate it. Um, the first time it's activated, it's going to give you this notice up here that says that it has to be registered before it can be used. If you click that, you'll get to this screen where you can put in the registration information. Um, if you get a successful registration, which you should, um, and then just go to any admin page, you're going to see a new uh, main menu on the left there above Profoto called Proofing. So uh, this gets added by the plugin, and there's a handful of things. I'll quick go through these. Proofing galleries are a different kind of WordPress post, sort of like a post or a page. You'll, when you start out, you'll have none, but eventually as you add galleries, this is sort of a specialized type of posts. Um, if you want to add new one, you can click the Add New button. And here you are looking at um, what it looks like to create a new proofing gallery. So just for the sake of kind of showing you, I'll create one, Jack and Jill. And it's a lot like a post, except for right now there's no area to write any text because the images of the proofing gallery is, constitutes the content of the post. So click to add some images, and then you can upload or, or ch choose from your um, media library. Um, one note about uploading images is that you'll probably want to upload pretty high resolution photos. Um, very shortly, within a month or two, um, we are going to add the functionality to allow you to sell digital downloads and so if you plan on taking advantage of that um, then you'll want to upload you know high res or full res um, images um, and especially good retina sized images uh, Profoto is going to downsize them uh, and watermark them to keep them safe and to make sure that your page loads as quick as possible so um, you don't need to worry about the page load time so you can go ahead and upload some pretty big images and once you've uploaded your images, I just uploaded a batch here, you can click this Add to Proofing Gallery and you'll see that your images are now attached to your proofing gallery. So I'm going to publish this just like a post. Over here on the right side in the Publish screen, um, just like any post or page, you can also set the visibility to password protected, which is going to be something really frequently used for um, proofing gallery. Um, posts because a lot of those for just for clients so that's a lot of people will ask how do I password protect these and you do it just the way you normally do okay so once it's published then we can uh, view the post and it looks like this and you'll see um, you can watch these sort of like blurry images slowly replace themselves with the the correct resolution images um, the reason that's happening is that Profoto has to downsize these very large images, which can take a lot of time on the server, and so we want the page to load really fast the first time. So what we do is we, we kind of show these really tiny uh, thumbnails blown up and blurred to sort of show the progress of uh, the page loading, so that the page, if you noticed, it loaded immediately, and then it requested these images from the server, and now they're nice, sharp resolution. That only happens one time. I'll watch me refresh the page, and then... Uh, these load nice and quick from here on out. You can see the same thing when we request larger images. Uh, the proofing plugin handles images a little differently. It requests them uh, from the server only the first time they're needed so that extra images aren't created um, and only the sizes that are needed are created. And so you'll see things like this pops up and it's requesting that image from the server and when it finally gets it, um, then it, it locks into place. So, um, this is what uh, a proofing gallery looks like. Um, there's multiple different display options. Um, 
this is sort of the default masonry one where they're lined up like this, but we could also change that to down here. We could change this to a cropped view, Click update, and you'll notice that these come in as, uh, as just square crops. Um, shortly, you'll be able to set a custom crop if you want to do a custom crop. Um, and then the third display option down here is slides. And that looks like this. So the images are all shown um, within squares, but um, without being cropped. All three of these formats are customizable. Um, I might as well show you that now. You can over here under proofing, you can go to customize, and that'll bring you to a familiar Profoto customization screen, and um, you can customize a lot of aspects of how the galleries appear um, in this area. So just kind of click through there, and the gallery thumbnails, this, the gallery thumbnail options are here, and those thumbnails correspond to these. Um, these small views as opposed to the, the modal pop-up which is this larger view. This is the modal view. One of the first things you'll probably want to do is, is experiment with setting up some basic products and product categories assuming you're wanting to sell images which I think most of you will. You can get to that in two ways. You can go with, from any customized screen down here to proofing products or over here on the left you can go to products and it brings up another customization screen. Um, and I'm gonna do a short video just explaining how this works um, and kind of, we've tried to build in a lot of flexibility uh, to let you set up your products and categories and groups the way you want um, so that it's flexible for all kinds of different use cases. And because of that, it's a, it's a tiny bit complicated. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but basically over here, you're gonna create um, some products so the, the, the main thing you need to do is create some products with some prices. We'll make a five by seven and a um, you know eight by ten. Give it some prices. Save these <clears throat> changes. There's a lot more you can do here that I'll show in the other video, including grouping products into categories and then also adding variations, things like size, material, paper type so that different products can have variations. And then there can be groups of products, which are sort of like pricing lists for various shoots um, are all available there. So once you have some products set up, then um, when you add stuff to the cart, uh, first it's going to prompt you to make a new user. Um, then you can start adding things to your cart. and. Here I've shown a couple different options. You can add different items to the cart. You can navigate through your different images and keep adding things to your cart. And when you want to view your cart, you can pull it up like this. You can see the different amounts and change them if you want to. And complete your order. It's going to prompt you for a shipping address. Um, and you can submit your orders like that. So the proofing plugin also supports basic uh, payment integration with PayPal. So um, it looks like this when you're sent over to PayPal to pay. I'm not going to actually complete this order because I don't want to actually buy these fake products. Um, but you can see the products have come in here and then here's where you can um, choose to pay by credit card if you have a business account or you can have a PayPal account. I'm going to do a whole video on uh, PayPal inclusion, but we'll, um, we'll just go now and show you that when orders are created and submitted, they come to this order screen over here on the left. You click orders. And then when you're in the order screen, you can see um, the order I just submitted, and if you want to show the cart items, you can even, in some cases, edit the edit the cart items and set different statuses whether you've fulfilled these or shipped them, and 
if they've paid you, you can switch this to paid and it'll update. It gives you the shipping and contact information. You can even set orders to different statuses. So if you want to archive this, um, then you won't see it unless you check to see also your archived ones and so on and so forth. So those are the, that's the order screen. Um, basic, I mentioned there's basic PayPal integration. Um, if you come over here to proofing products, and go to orders, then you can uh, put your PayPal account in here and we'll have more details about that. But um, you can accept payments through PayPal and we can even uh, make it so you can run test payments through without actually purchasing. So you can see the whole end to end uh, procedure of what it's like when your clients use the proving plugin to purchase photos. That's good for an overview, I guess. Um, if you're interested more in how to set up products, we're going to have a separate video for that that we'll give you a link to, and I'll do a, a detailed video on the PayPal integration and testing as well. So thanks for using the proof and plugin.